If you've ever wanted to learn how to add sound to a button in Animate CC, you're in the right place. In order to add a sound to a button, you first have to create a button symbol. Then we will apply that sound to one of the states in the button symbol. In this example, I already have my button created, so the next thing I need to do is import the sound. To do that, I'll go up to File, Import, and choose Import to Library. From here, I'll choose my button sound, and I want to make sure it's an MP3 if at all possible, because MP3 gives us the most bang for our buck, meaning that the small file size also results in good quality audio. So if you have a WAV file, you should convert that to an MP3 using something like Adobe Media Encoder. If you don't know how to do that, there's a video on how to do it on my YouTube channel. So once you have your audio sound as an MP3, if possible, then click Open to add it to your library. In your library, you can tell that it's been added because this icon indicates an audio file. You can click on this file and use these two preview control buttons to stop or play it in this library window. Now I need to get into the button to add the sound to whichever state I want it to play on. Right now in this button, I have a layer that indicates the shapes for the button and each of those has different colors to show a rollover functionality. I also have a layer for text that is added to each of the different shapes and it switches colors when we get to over. So I need to add a new layer just for the button sound. Now that's not absolutely necessary, it's just a good idea to keep it as organized as possible. But if you're running out of time or you're trying to do something quickly, you can click on one of these frames and add the audio there. For my part, I want the audio to play when somebody hovers over this button. I don't want it to play on the up state, which means that it's going to play when nobody is actually on the button. That can get really annoying or not make any sense to the people viewing it. The over state means it's going to play that sound the minute their mouse hovers over the button. And if you want it on the down state, that means that it'll only play the sound when they actually click or push the button. So I want it on the over state. In order to make it play on the over state though, I need to create a blank keyframe so it starts here and not on the keyframe on the up state. So I'll right click and choose insert blank keyframe. With that frame selected, I'll go to the properties panel, go to the sound section, and click the drop down list next to name. Here's where I can click my blinky button.mp3. Once I do, it adds the waveform starting at the over state. It's okay if it goes into the down state for me right now because I'm not going to have any other audio on the down state. So now what's left is just to test it. I can test it right now or I can go back into the scene and do command return for a Mac or control enter for a PC. So notice that no blinky button sound is playing, but when I hover over it, you can hear the sound. If I move off and hover over again, it's going to play it again. So I know that that button sound is working now. That's the basics of how to add sound to your button, how to add it to the state you want. And if you're interested in finding some button sounds, I highly recommend looking for a Creative Commons sound library or going to audiojungle.net.